Okay, what's up? We are here at the Bak Mian Market. This is a local market. There's a lot of different stalls along the street here. And you can also go inside, stuff to buy, all sorts of things. So we'll show you what it's like. Do you want to walk this way through the food or do you want to go through the clothes? Should we go, you can go through the clothes. The hectic, the maze. Yeah. And the chains, the maze and the chains. <laughs> I wonder how much this stuff like truly costs. <laughs> I love this woman. She has made me many things, and that's really cute. <coughs> Got my friend Jess here. Jess, what are you buying, actually? I didn't even ask you. A lot of fruit, vegetables, and I'm gonna try and cook tofu for the first time. So maybe Ooh. tofu. Okay, nice. We'll see how it goes. Because the Tet holiday is coming up where you can't buy anything basically. Like mm -hmm. there's some stores open, but it's like almost everything shuts it's down. It's pretty busy as well, look. Yeah. No, no, it's like you don't really, you don't have to cook at home, but yeah. you might need to make a meal on like the holiday, like especially if it gets too late. That's the thing, late night, it's like I don't really remember there being a lot of stuff. Definitely go over the, there has to be a day that you go over the bridge. It will literally change your life. Okay. Margo put me on to eating carrots like as snacks. Huh. And ever since I do that then, too. yeah, it's ever since then. Oh I'm like, God. been like, damn, this is like the way. I like yeah. with salt on carrots. I just really like uh, the saltiness with the carrots. Ooh, I'm gonna try it. So yeah, it is super busy because I think everyone is stocking up for the holiday, which is on Wednesday, Thursday, no Thursday, Friday and the Monday, so it's that full weekend. But usually the whole TED holiday actually lasts longer than that. It lasts like at least a week and usually even longer than that. Most people, most people are off work for, I don't know, even up to two weeks. Well, you witnessed it in Saigon, right? Yeah. Wait, yeah. wait, this might not be, this That's is- That's a lot of ginger. This wait, is ginger is as well, right? Different kind of ginger? This is why they call it a wet market. This is why they call it a wet market. Right? Yeah, dude, I, have you ever eaten, eaten it on here? Because I did once, no. <laughs> and it was the most, it was so disgusting, because it's just like meat juice. <laughs> of course. I was so pissed. I think these are all the fake meats. There's quite a lot of different processed meats in Vietnam. How much did you pay for those veggies, by the way? Uh, I got a lot of veggies, and yeah. they're 250k. Not bad. 
asparagus and celery is actually pretty expensive. It's definitely cheaper overall when you buy at these markets. You know, you always forget like about salt. There's actually lots of different kinds of mushrooms in Vietnam. Like you'll see all sorts that you might not even have seen before. Hello. Hello. So I want to buy a blanket for tents because I'm planning to go tent. That's not a word, tenting. I'm planning to go camping this weekend because everything's going to be closed. So we're just going to go with a few people, hang out in the woods and forest, do some camping, and there's a whole lot of blankets you can probably get here. I'm not sure if it's what I want. There's a lot of blanket stores. Oh, this is nice. This is also not bad. Just like a lining. Okay, I just bought a couple of things, got a blanket and a pillow, and it was about 270 for the blanket and 30 for the pillow. You can usually bargain down a little bit, but this is quite a local market. It's not like the ones in the tourist areas where you can barter it down a lot and they overcharge you here. It's pretty much normal prices. Vietnamese and foreigners kind of get the same prices. You can bargain down a little bit maybe, but I don't really bother too much. Okay, we've got some ban con here. This stuff is... Yeah, this is ban con, isn't it? It's tap tam. It's T-H-A-P-C-A-M. Okay, well it's similar to ban con because <laughs> ban con's got this, this kind of needle. It tastes like ban kun, but yeah, I don't know it's got kun. these little um, little cakes, right? Mm -hmm. These are good. Does one uh, kun have? Mm. Does it have this? Those? No. no. Okay, time to get some fruits. Is this winter melon? Yes, I think it is. I don't like that stuff, it's so bitter. But the drink tastes really sweet to me. Yeah, wait, there's bitter melon and winter melon, I think. Two different things. Pepper over there? Yeah. Deep. Yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's like kind of <laughs> presented so oddly well, but like I'm not even upset. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't. So yeah. weird. <laughs> Is it its wings? It's its wings. Yeah, it's got its, it's got its wings in its mouth. Can I see? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know? Nothing, nothing different. It tastes... Nothing different. <laughs> ah! I wonder if it's red inside. No, probably not. I think I'm going to get one and I'm going to plant it. I want to plant it and see if I can grow a red one. Why not? 
Yeah. I have a planter. No. <laughs> Have you ever tried um, this fruit? What is that? Is that custard apple? Custard apple. Have you tried it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Tastes like cotton candy. You're running out of hands. I literally. Are you am. gonna carry a watermelon? Balam <laughs> What's that? Thirty. Yeah, thirty-five. Okay, I better give you a hand. That's okay. Look, <laughs> <laughs> we're almost done. Amazing. I have. I need to get like two more things. I'm okay. <laughs> I don't know where the melon. Oh. All right. I'll uh, put away the camera to give you a hand. Well, that was a cool little market tour. Thanks for uh, showing us around, Jess. What kind of melon is this? Sweet melon? A yellow one. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave it there for this video. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll speak to you soon. Peace.